Alright, so one of the finishing touches I wanted to make to my Project M3 was this CSL inspired one piece front lip. So after prepping it, and painting it, I was pretty excited to install it. But this was a budget lip that I got from eBay for about 140 bucks, so it wasn't too surprising to find out that it didn't quite fit 100%. All right, so I got the front lip on the uh, M3 and it uh, looks pretty good, right? But the only thing is the fitment is not 100%. What I mean by that is, I don't know if you can see, but there is a bit of a gap between the lip and the actual front bumper. If you don't believe me, like, like I can get my finger in between. There's a gap there, watch. Yeah, you can see the light coming through. Yeah, that's a gap. And over here as well. Normally you could just leave it if you're fine with that, but I want to try something that I saw the Japanese guy that makes the RWB Porsches and what he does is he puts like basically silicone caulk to fill in the gaps of his uh, body kits and I want to try that on this to see if we can just get a little bit of coverage and just kind of clean it up a little bit. So you can see I already put and masked off a little bit of the lip right here where I want to fill in the gaps. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and just lay a bead down and then pull it off. The one thing I am concerned is the size of some of these gaps. Um, I'm hoping that they fill in um, and they're not too big because otherwise it looks like it'll just drop through, but we'll see as we're going along. Right, so just finished, took off the tape as you can see. You know, it did a pretty good job of filling in the gaps. Um, I didn't, I was, I thought I was gonna have a lot more trouble on those wider gaps, but it actually, uh, it actually held off pretty good. So uh, just FYI, it's super, super, super messy. Wear gloves, have a lot of damp rags. It does wipe off easily with water before it dries. So make sure you got plenty of, uh, plenty of that going on. All right, so here is the finished product. The uh, silicone has had a little bit of time to cure. I think this, it's been on the car for about maybe a few weeks now. And you can see it's, it's covered up pretty good. I mean, it's dried pretty good and it looks good. I think this method works. So I'm pretty happy with the results on this one.